Good morning, everyone. This is Mark Thompson. I am with Watermark Data, and these are the Alteryx tutorials. This morning, we're not going to be doing one of the challenges from the community, but a question I had from someone who has been watching the tutorials. They have a piece of data, a couple of, uh, they have a spreadsheet, and what they would like to do, here is what it looks like to start off with. And they have got these first two rows, and they want to turn them into a concatenated header. So they want to combine the first and the second and make sure that it's the header. Easy enough. First thing we're going to do is we're going to split out our data. So we grab this sample tool, and this comes from the preparation area. But we grab the sample tool, and we say the first n rows. What do we want n to be in this case? We want it to be 2. Down here, we also grab the sample tool, and we say skip the first n rows, those same two, and capture the data coming out of here. So as you can see in this, we've got the data that does not have those first two rows, and the data in this one is only the first two rows. The next thing you want to do is put on a select tool and ensure that all of these are the same type. Now, I've already done this, but when it first came in, I'm going to revert to original size, and you can see that some of them are the doubles, right? They're not all V-string. So that's why we do this. And to change it, we come up here, Options, Change Field Type, V-string. That way we can use Concatenate, which is a text manipulator. Next, we come over here to the summary tool. I'm going to get rid of these because I had already put them in there. And the way you do that is you highlight all of these. Now, notice they're all string. So we can come down here and go string, concatenate, and it brings them all in and it's going to concatenate them. Don't forget to to identify how it is you want them separated. If you want a space, colon, space. Now, one thing that is kind of annoying, and you've got to go through this, is that you have to do it for each and every column. But that really, it'll take you 30 seconds to do this. Come down here, we do a space, we do a colon, we do a space. And I'll stop at this last one. We do a space, colon, space. Now we run this. And we see the result here. Notice that it, it it's only got a comma over here. I hadn't done that. I did change these first couple. Oops, I guess I missed that second one. The next thing you want to do is you want to bring these headers back to your data. We use a union tool for this. And because I've already run it, I'm going to walk you through. I'm going to grab out of the join, and I'm going to grab the union, and I'm going to connect it. And the thing that you want to do is you want to come over here to the settings, and you want to say configure by field. Now notice, I've got my input 1 and input 2. I've got all of my headers for input 1, and my headers for input two, because they are different, remember I've concatenated and now I've got those. I have to move them over so that they align. Now that they're aligned, awesome. I'll show you one thing in a second, but I'm going to run this. And I come over here and look at my data, and whoops, wait a minute, where are my headers? And if you look, they're down here at the bottom. So the other thing that you have to ensure is that you're setting the right order. You specifically want number one coming in and then number two coming in. And if I now rerun this, you'll see what we achieve is that concatenated field is now at the top. And the final step to this is grabbing the dynamic rename tool. 
I've got it in my favorites, but you can find it over here in the developer. That dynamic rename with the little pencil. And you're going to want to come over here, select take field names from first row of data. We go ahead and hit run and boom. We now have the headers up top and all of our data from those columns down below. I am Mark Thompson. This has been a Alteryx tutorial with Watermark Data. Hope you have a great day. Let me know what you think. Hit like, hit share. See you next time.